dressed in black. Silver buttons, oh, down her back. That's rare footage of Jackie Shane, a talented black trans performer and soul singer from the American South who moved to Toronto in the 1960s. She was just one of those people that was electrifying and, you know, other musicians looked to her uh, as somebody who really knew how to perform and capture an audience. She packed nightclubs like the former Sapphire Tavern, which was located in this building right behind me, and she even recorded a live album here. In the 1960s, Jackie Shane was um, a, a star in, in downtown Toronto. Um, the nightlife at the time was really centered on Young Street. There was all kinds of nightclubs and bars along there. And Jackie Shane played them all. Um, she was this uh, incredibly dynamic um, R&B performer. If you listen to some of the live recordings of her talking to the audience, you hear Jackie say that I'm walking down Young Street and everybody loves Jackie, which was true at the time. Legendary R&B singer Bobby Dean Blackburn knew Shane and agrees she was one of the best. A wicked singer, great, great, great entertainer, one of the best I've ever I've known, you know, so, and, and uh, we got along good. Any other way. <laughs> when, when she, that, 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 that record made the charts. <laughs> that first black uh, entertainer uh, to uh, even get on the radio. In, in, in Canada. Born in 1940 in Nashville, Tennessee, Shane would go to perform alongside greats, including Jackie Wilson and Etta Jones. She moved to Boston and Montreal before settling in Toronto. She actually became a bit of a, an enigma, really. Uh, she retired quite suddenly from show business in the early 1970s and led a very, you know, almost extremely private life um, up until the, the 2010s when uh, she was sort of rediscovered. Helping her regain recognition was the 2017 release of a compilation album, Any Other Way, which got a Grammy nomination for Best Historical Album. There's also a Heritage Minute about her. Ed Sullivan, because they asked me to remove my makeup, wouldn't do American Bandstand because of their segregation policies. Shane died at the age of 78 in 2019. There's now a plan to honour her with a plaque. The idea came from producer Amanda Burt and her team, who are making a documentary about the star. The plaque is going to go up at Richmond and Victoria, uh, outside the former site of the Sapphire Tavern, which is now a Taroni. And the reason that we wanted to do it is, you know, I grew up in Toronto, and even though I love Jackie's music, I didn't know that she considered this her home, and I didn't realize how important Toronto was to her. Amanda and her team started a crowd fundraiser for the plaque with a $10,000 goal. It was surpassed in just 10 days. Anything over $10,000 is going to go to the Heritage Toronto Curated Plaques Fund. Jackie really wanted to elevate other people. She suffered a lot and she had a lot of struggle and she found love here. So in her name, anything that we get over what we need for her plaque, we'll donate to get other plaques made as well. Heritage Toronto hopes to release Shane's plaque during the year's Pride Month, when some of Jackie's family plans to come to Toronto. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.